commercial manager of Pyrus Container Terminal, the company which has been established by Costco Shipping Port back in 2008 in order to manage and operate the Container Terminal of Pyrus Port. First of all, I have to say that uh, during these uh, past 13 years, we well, have been witnessing a tremendous transformation of the ports of Pyreus and namely the container terminal. To become one of the first uh, five ports in, of Europe, uh, leading ports in Mediterranean, we have been number one port in Mediterranean in 2021. Today, PCT provides uh, high-quality services for the China-Europe uh, land uh, sea express lines, uh, setting out uh, between the ports of Piraeus and uh, Central Europe. This trade connects uh, the East with Far East uh, Europe and uh, vice versa, reducing the transportation time by seven to ten days compared with the traditional uh, Northwest Europe route uh, via Gibraltar. Maritime uh, Silk Road opened uh, another new passage of friendship between Chinese and Greek people, uh, but also offers a new gateway for Greece to the world by the name of uh, Piraeus. Centuries ago, the port of Barcelona, where we are located, together with Valencia, were two of the most prosperous ports in Spain due to the thriving silk industry. Today, the construction of the Belt and Road and the accompanying investment from Chinese companies have brought opportunities for Spanish ports to create new glories. The company established this as two of the main hub ports in the Western Mediterranean and constantly promotes route allocation and transit business development. Strengthening market development in the Western Mediterranean through railway stations to intensify the radiation and promotion of the entire hinterland of Spain and south of Europe cargo. Bolloré Logistics started to cooperate with Costco back in 2010 with the signature of a COA out of Shanghai, Tianjin and Dalian for one of our key customers in France involved in the construction of a metallurgical complex in West Africa. Another success story with Costco was the delivery of wind farm projects for a Chinese wind turbine manufacturer who secured projects in South America and Asia Pacific. Those projects took place between 2016 and 2020, and Bolloré was in charge of receiving the main components at the port of discharge and delivery to the job site in fairly remote locations. China's new energy vehicles going overseas to Europe is an important step for China's auto industry to go global, and it's also an inevitable choice for the development of China's new energy uh, vehicles industry. As the vanguard of Chinese cars companies going overseas, uh, Saic Motor, which has ranked first in China in overseas sales for seven years, has quietly built a comprehensive and systematic overseas chain after years of development. And in the future, Saic Motor will continue to maintain and expand uh, its leading advantages in overseas market. Seize the historical opportunity of the Belt and Road uh, Cooperation Initiative.
En, el, en nuestro caso, como Chile, somos el principal productor de fruta fresca en el hemisferio sur. Eso nos permite, y no, y, y no, nos permite tener una categoría mundial en el, en el transporte y en la producción de 50 distintas variedades de fruta. Utilizamos como, como servicio de tecnología eh, que brindamos a los clientes para autogestionar eh, la cadena de frío y también visibilizar y controlar el uso de las unidades. Nosotros de esta manera ayudamos a que las cerezas chilenas lleguen a China en la ruta de la seda marítima del siglo XXI. Como todos sabemos, los minerales siempre han sido una producción de nuestro país. Esto hace muy importante eh, la economía para la economía chilena se envíen en forma rápida y en forma eficiente a China. At that time, uh, the cherry industry out of Chile would be half of what it is today. At that time, we are talking of the whole industry will be 10,000 containers. We were exploring different ports in China. Nowadays, our industry is close to 20,000 containers of cherries because of uh, new ports, new services that are coming up. It's uh, amazing to see how two countries so apart from each other, it's 20,000 kilometers between Chile and China. So nowadays, we see more and more companies as being established in Shanghai, So the relation, the business relation, and of course the trade, it's been increasing uh, with the years. I'm honored to play a part in the operations and projects that bring many high quality China-made specialized cargo, such as trains, equipment, machineries, and project cargoes to various nations under the Belt and Road Initiative. This endeavor is crucial for many nations to advance their infrastructure and boost economic and technological growth. A great example of this initiative is the Indonesian high-speed train project between Jakarta and Bandung. It's not only the first time China high-speed trains are being used abroad, but it is also the first high-speed rail in Southeast Asia. This is not only good for people who travel, but it is also helpful for local people to commute easily, hence an improved accessibility to goods, services and opportunities. I think the transportation of the most carrying equipment from China to Algeria used to be one of the most difficult things to achieve. It used to be a headache, a very complex task. But now with uh, the Chinese maritime syndrome, things have gotten a lot better, a lot easier, as now we are able to access the information much faster. So they bring all this to the table and add all to this large-scale equipment that are custom-made and that responds to very high requirements, especially shipped for us from China. Over the years, and up to today, Chinese goods have traveled across the ocean to come here. Same for Spanish goods being transported to China. It has brought countries closer together, made business work better, and helped people understand each other, all with the aim of making life better for everyone. In the government, we have a good relationship. We have very good agreements for Bolivia and China. It's a win-win situation.